Hi guys, uh, my Bitstamp account now has been verified. I am actually surprised. It took only um, maybe 25 minutes, 25 minutes to get verified. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. I like it. I like it. So the verification process, even though you saw that it took a little bit while with the verification, no, it was worthwhile. I got verified very quickly. And now I can start to show you how you can deposit you first. For example, for the people who want to use the the card, the bank card or bank transfer or whatever. So here you can, uh, if if you didn't have this message, you can come to deposit, the button deposit, and then for example, I choose international bank. Okay, so with international bank, it will ask my return my name, uh, the what the amount. For example, you. US and uh, so for example, you put, I don't know, $5,000 um, USD and then and then I click deposit. Okay, once I click deposit, they will give you so you can only deposit funds to your uh, personal Bitstamp account from a bank account held in your name. So it is very important that the bank account you're sending money from it has to be the same name as the name you have you have registered on the Bitstamp. Otherwise, your payment will be refused. So, so that that they give you the uh, account, uh, the address. Okay, so this company is actually based in the UK. So pretty good. So you give you the details, um, all the information you you need, the country, the bank in the US. Say we get back, and uh, but the account address, the company regi is registered in the UK. You can see the IBAN number, and they see the message you have to include. Okay, this is very important. You must include the above message number in the bank deposit message. So when you send in your bank deposit from the US, because I selected there, uh, you have to put in deposit message. You have to put this number, okay, in order to credit your business account. Right, guys. So basically, now you go to your country, and then uh, you go to your bank, and then you tell them, okay, this is the information. You've got the routing number here, and these are the information the US demands, and you've got the IBAN number, and that's it. And you just send. Uh, it's probably will take a while, maybe three to five days or three to seven days. All right. Let me cancel this and show you um, something else. So if you was in the US, in the Euros, for example, in Europe, this is if you are international, probably. So from international bank. So if you're in Europe, for example, or if you want to use a credit card, um, you use credit card. But always make sure you have the money to pay off the credit card because it is not good advice to invest money that you don't have. It's not a good idea. Okay, never try to do that. Right, so what you do here, not credit card purchase may only be initiated using a credit card held in your account holder's name. So you have to do that, right? You have to be in your name. So you click that, and then you can use Visa or Mastercard. So now you can see this B stamp. Why is good? You can do bank international transfer. You can do um, credit card, right? Now with the uh, with the credit card, they will put a small amount, and obviously due to, um, you know, due to bank regulation, etc. But it shows you an option, shows you the difference you can buy set right now. But if you put, for example, same amount, I was gonna put five thousand dollars. It shows you that, and then you click buy, for example. Daily limit exceeds. So the daily limit is one thousand five hundred. So it's not that low. So if you use a credit card, obviously it's for security reasons. So if I put that, that's the much you can buy per day. And then you do like that, your payment will be processed by a master card, master payment, blah, blah, blah. Give the term. If I go to continue, then it will take me to the um, master card, uh, the information. You select which one, you put your card number, 16 digit number, name on the card, you put the date of expiry, and the, the date of uh, expiry month and the, the year, you put the verification number, which is the three digits at the end, and you click submit. 
and then it will be reviewed. Uh, I'm not sure if it's going to be automatically or not. All right. This is for someone who uses a credit card. Now let's look for someone who uses an, an EU um, EU uh, account. I hope they're not going to go into block my account <laughs> because I am just showing you different examples. So EU is pretty much like um, the, the, the international. So they ask you the um, usual information. All right, guys. That is how it is. Once you verify, once you go through all the pain of verification and etc., you have access to something you can just use easily, quickly to buy your crypto, to buy your Bitcoin, and you have your Bitcoin wallet here. So I would never advise people really to keep their crypto on exchange. It is not safe. Always find um, some hardware wallet where you can keep your crypto. Right? So you can have you can have the wallet here. So you can have them here on us but the reason why i'm shooting off this video is for my people in Swig and crypto unit program so where you can use this platform to purchase your crypto so that you can buy your educational uh packages and for you to be financially literate okay guys so i'll speak to you soon and i will see you in more videos to come bye for now